bootleg RSA3. Why use P and Q when I can use more? <clears throat> Connect on this port. Well, let's see what we got. Take a look here. All right, we have C and an E. Now it suggests that N has more than two factors. That should make N a lot easier to factor. So let's say factor large number online. Okay, let's see what these people have to say. And we'll factor that. Factoring, factoring, factoring. All right, so our 344 digit number is this. All right, so that's going to enable us to find a lot of factors. All right, so we have this extended Euclid modular inverse that we talked about before. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, that was N, so I guess that's fine. What I need is this, all of these things. Because this is going to allow us to get phi of N. So phi of N is equal to all of these uh, numbers what do I want here x slash star slash g what is that must be some funky character okay so phi of n is all of the prime factors minus 1 multiplied together. So 6, 8, 8, 8, with 8, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 8, 8, Once we get phi of n, we are going to be able to use that to find the multiplicative inverse of the public key exponent mod phi of n, and that's going to give us the private key exponent. Once we have the private key exponent, of course, we'll be able to decrypt the number. to the end here. All right, so we there's our ciphertext, and E was 65,537, so we'll need this. There's our ciphertext. E was 65,537, so D is going to be the mod inv of E phi, and then we just want our plain text will be the cipher text raised to the power d mod n, and then we'll print hex plain. Let's see if this works. Python rsa 2.py. All right, so that looks like that did exactly what I wanted. So again, we were able to factor the number because the primes were much smaller, phi of n was then for each of the primes. So phi of n was normally p minus 1, q minus 1. But for us, it'll be like you know p minus 1, q minus 1, r minus 1, s minus 1, all of the primes minus 1 multiplied together. We then took the modular inverse um, of the public key exponent mod phi of n. That enabled us to find the 
private key, we raise the ciphertext to the private key mod n, and this should be our flag. So we'll just take this, we'll find that hex uh, to ASCII converter. And too many factors, there's the flag.